right, welcome to Tuntum Network. My name is Cyrus, guys. We have two solid guys in the studio today. We are about to discuss business and sustainable construction. We have Massim, it's Massim Eco Green Homes. These guys are into construction and anything that has to do with sustainability. Today they are in the studio. They've taken advantage of uh, the challenge I gave to everybody that if you are interested in, in coming to the studio, it's free of charge, zero cost. All you have to do is get yourself here and get your materials right or else you might end up embarrassing yourself, which I don't want that for you. So Massim Echo Green Homes. Yes. Guys, you're welcome. No, thank, thank you very you. much. I, I, hope, I hope you guys will speak. Pull yeah. the mic to yourself okay. a little bit. Okay. All right. So Massim Echo Green Homes, what, what are you guys all about? We are all about First, tell us your names and what you're about. Okay, so I'm Kelvin Azuri, okay. the CEO and founder of Massim Echo Green Homes. Okay, can you lift up your voice a little yeah, bit? I'm Kelvin Azuri. Kelvin Azuri. Azuri. Yes. Okay, that is a powerful name. Yes. Azuri. I'm from the Upper East. That is a brand name, I think. Yeah. Yes. Is that your father or something? Yeah, my dad is a North Night, yes. Oh, man, you are sitting on some good money. Thank you very much. All right, so what's up? Yeah, so uh, Massim is all about sustainability. Okay. Where we do um, sustainable homes. Okay. So that's what we are doing, and that's the agenda we are pushing from now. So Sustainable homes. Yes. So you are Kelvin. Yes. And you are? Asari Joel Akuto. Joel Akuto Asari. Yeah. Man, that is a good name. I know the Joel guys are very bad. <laughs> They, are, they like women. We are prophets. You are prophets. Yeah. The one in the Bible is the prophet. Yeah. But, but the rest. Nah, 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 nah. All right. So, Joel, yeah. you are part of the company. Yeah. What role do you specifically play? Uh, lead tech support. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, how, so far, what is it about? I mean, when you say sustainable construction, yeah. what are you talking about? We are talking about recycled waste. We are talking of geopolymer, geopolymer concrete. That is the zero cement concrete. Wait, 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 let's take it slowly. <laughs> we are talking about what? Recycled waste, geopolymer concrete, and, and, and probably... What does that even mean? Okay, so geopolymer doesn't have cement in it. It's made from quarry waste and other natural res resource and materials. So I, I, I'm not listening. I can't hear what you're saying. Geo what? Geopolymer. 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 Yes. G-E-O-P-O-L-Y-M-E-R. Oh, geopolymer. Yes. yes. It doesn't use cement. No, no, it's more durable compared to the traditional. Bro, cement. we have been building with cement since Kwame Nkrumah. Yeah. What are you saying? So you see, Ghanaians do not like to explore. Okay. And when even they, they see it, uh -huh. they are ignorant about it because they don't trust it. We, because we had a conversation with one. I'm sure people tell you in your face that, bro, yeah. I don't trust what yes. you guys have. Yeah, because the first thing, Ghana ni or Bakacho, Udi Bola is me dying. Like that mindset, right? So yeah. it's adaptability. That's the problem. We, we don't have to adapt. But we'll gradually get there. We'll get there. No, Very we have to get there. Yeah. But you guys will have to explain it to us. That is why I'm happy you are here. Yes. Yeah. So, geo polymer concrete. Polymer concrete. Yes. You don't use cement. No. no. What do you use to 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 so, bind the whole thing? So it's it's more about uh, specific geographical spaces. Mm -hmm. So in a space like Accra, there will be. A different chemical reaction okay. according to the land okay and then where we fetch the soils from so okay. it's basically about different different areas so let's say if we pick an area like um central region around takradi or something right the the mixture of the soil there will determine the type of geopolymer what we, we use. get okay so what is the main material in geopolymer in soil what? soil yeah you mean the regular soil we have in, in the country yes that's all you need like clay no, not far clay. from clay. Far from clay. Oh, like sand? So, yes. so there, are, there are specific chemical components in the soil. Okay. The zinc, so for everything else. So when we pick it, our lab people just go into the little gritties of those soils and then we combine it. So we use heat and then the normal way of making concrete. But then the difference is that the way of, of getting it together is by lime. By and lime? Yes. Oh, it, right. it's, it's a whole technology on its own. So w let's take, for instance, you come to my, my land. Yes. Mm -hmm. You want to build your homes for me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where is the material coming from? From my own from land? land? It doesn't go out. You, you dig from my land? Yes. So from and, and that's dependent on the quality of the soil. Okay. If we don't get it from your land, we'll we have would to have to pick it from, from our somewhere. site. Yeah. And then there's a different company that is doing all this just yes, that we happen to be speaking part, to them with part, as no, partnership okay and they're also based in ghana it's also okay. like actually a startup yeah. oh okay yeah, so, yeah. so they do 
all the scientific side of getting us the geopolymer concrete. Right. And then we use it in construction. So you have a, a team for that. Yes. yes. That's the whole team. So, on this okay. So Joel here helps with the research and the scientific stuff. I see. Yeah, yeah. So we work together with them. So every place you go to, every piece of land, you have to test it first. That's, yes. the, that's the first thing we do before we start working. Oh, I see. So it, it wouldn't be uniform. With It wouldn't be a standard thing. Every place is every different. Every place is mm, different. different. It's ah. just like how maybe in La Paz, mm. we would find a soil that might be very favorable. Right. Um, that is uh, in context with the weather in Ghana, the climate here. Okay. And then maybe in an area like Lakeside, it might not be so favorable. Okay. So then we will focus more on getting more soil from La Paz instead of Lakeside, since the Lakeside one won't favor the climate. Yeah, so Ghana. if it doesn't favor you, then we don't we'll have to mix it up something for you. Wow. Yes. Man, this is the first time I'm hearing this. Yeah. So is it a common thing to find in Accra? Very common. People have already built houses. No, okay, okay, no. So people, I mean, uh, from the research we've done so far, not people, not much people know about it. Is but there any home you can right now direct me to and say, go to this house? Uh, it is under, built with our type of uh, still under construction. But then the 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 main reason we we tend to move with geopolymer as an agenda is that uh, the materials that is made of it can withstand uh, yeah. fire. So it's, it's fire resistance more than the, the natural competing. blocks. So if you have to understand that you are competing against tradition. Yes. yes. The tradition is sa sand, cement, water. Yeah. Yeah. So and see, gravels. Yeah. And gravels. So Ghanaians are and iron about. rods. Yeah. Uh, so uh, so do, does yours come with iron rods? Do we have to insert iron rods into the construction? No. Not not. It's not an option. It's not an option. What are you guys talking so, about? It's a so, mode okay okay let's take it let's take it slowly mm -hmm. okay educate me like a kindergarten sure okay talk to me like somebody who is really dumb okay i am i am somebody who is interested in building one of your homes okay mm -hmm. you want to convince me mm -hmm. okay talk to me like a kindergarten pupil what kind of a home am i looking at by the time of completion is it a home with iron rods no iron rods how long is it going to last? How easy is it going to fall apart or break if there is a storm, if there is a uh, rainfall, a heavy rainstorm, whatever the case is? What am I looking at? Because you are saying there is no iron rods. The, so the iron rods mm. is for the edges of the building. The so where we use the geopolymer okay. in Ghana is where mostly we lay the bricks and then the overhead okay. is a sturdy building. But then the the particular pillars within the building, it has to go the natural way, oh, and the, the natural traditional way. way, okay, which is the iron rods, the concrete, and the cement, because so the pillars, the yes. pillars or the columns will still yes. be concrete, concrete like yes. the normal yes. cement. That is to hold the gravels, building. okay. That is to hold the building. But then the geopolymer is used for one. So when uh, the weather gets too cold, right, you can have warm things inside because of the content of it. So geopolymer polymer on itself let's see if this is a brick geopolymer right. i'm so sorry you didn't bring a sample but if this is geopolymer and then you attach heat to it for over six to eight hours you won't feel the heat so the it's heat insulated inside. thank very you very much so when it's even hot outside you it's so cool inside and when it's hot inside but you don't have anything to show right now there is no house that is already built. So there are you didn't bring like a that. sample. There are houses like that in the USA. We have companies yeah, that are... USA is like thousands of kilometers away. Thank we are talking about much. Accra. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. that's why we are trying to bring it into Ghana. And have like, you seen a house built like that before? Yeah. In, in Ghana? Yeah. In Ghana? In no. Ghana. No. no. That's the sad part. So all these things you are telling me mm -hmm. is based on what you've seen in America. No, it's based on research, research, and the research and we are doing in, in Ghana. Ghana. How about you put up at least one structure yeah, so the, to I, be I, your I, reference point? Yeah, yeah that's, that's what, the one that's what we're working on right now, the, the yeah, prototype. Yeah. I see. So eventually... What Who we, invented this technology? So the technology has been there. It's, it's been, been there, there, but we are blind. Yeah. I would say that we are blind. In we Africa. We blind. Tell me about fire. So if it catches fire, what happens? It, ne it never comes down. It never comes down. So let's say in a traditional building, uh -huh. it would take about three to six hours of let's say strong fire right. for the building to Collapse. start weakening right 
and then eventually fall apart fall apart mm. but then with the geopolymer being the the blind side of it aside the pillars okay it can stand for from five to eight hours of constant fire wow. which has been tested okay yes okay man uh, it, it sounds good it yeah. is it is but it sounds good but, but then the Ghanaian market is tough no listen every every start startup or whatever yeah. business it, it's, it takes a struggle yes to get it rolling yeah but let's look at the pricing how cheap is it to build with uh, what is the name again geopolymer geopolymer. geopolymer how cheap is it to build with geopolymer than the regular traditional ones we know okay so if i'm buying a normal traditional block for nine cities or ten cities i'm buying geopolymer concrete for three cities that's how cheap it is so you guys will make your own blocks yes that's the, the whole plan we make our own blocks and use and it use it to build yeah. for the client yes yeah. and one will cost like three times less yeah yes than the regular like traditional i see yes yeah. i see i see so let's assume if i have to invest two hundred thousand to build my own house using the traditional method mm -hmm. i'm looking at how much you're looking at around hundred like, or one, one to seventy five thousand two hundred and twenty thousand yes okay because there are other things that will come into play okay yeah and how long are you saying it will last it, it, it goes As forever the traditional building goes it goes forever. just like that yes yeah. you don't need to do anything specific to maintain it i mean just the only maintenance you are going to you maybe be it doesn't take cracks you see with the geo, uh, traditional concrete right it takes like after some time you tend to see right. cracks on right it doesn't have any you don't cracks. see cracks no. in it no all that is needed is that the the guys working on it the scientific composition right has to go well oh okay. once, once the composition is right everything is right okay uh. and, and it, we, like when we are doing our research it we are careful about it because we, we want so we to can spend about a month to three months on just one building's research okay to get a composition right okay because we are talking about lives mm. and the money right so it means the composition has to be right and then the geopolymer is not only for the building pavement blocks as well okay be used for that and then the recycled waste he was talking about can be used for the pavement blocks we even have in ghana here mm. we have companies that are using mm. plastics for, for for buildings for pavement blocks and other stuff. yeah i even saw on the internet the other day yeah. A Nigerian uh, young guy who has invested in that thing. Yeah. He was using waste car tires. Yes. yes. Even as he's in Ghana here, there's this uh, nail plastic. I don't know if you've heard of him. No. Nail, nail, Nelson Plastics. Yeah. He's, he was that. He started that agenda. In Ghana. The waste car tires to make no, pavement blocks. That's waste I could plastic waste. Yeah. Wow. That is the rubber you throw away. Right. That's plastic. so. Oh. That is the main material for the geopolymer. No, that is that's for the, the only other technology block. that is coming okay. out. But yes. the main material for geopolymer is the, the sand. The sand. Yes. Yes. The soil, basically. The soil. Yes. yes. And shout out to the team that is working on it. Yeah. Uh, okay. The OCS developer. How big is your team? That's Massim. Mm. Massim, you are huge. You are, are full of young guys. So I like that fact. Yeah. You are yes. full of young guys. That is good. And I, in this world, everything works with partnership. Right. So it's right. Just little gritties of right. Whoever can do it yeah. best. But yes. You, you bring that person on board. Yes, I, I think the oldest in our team will not even have to be up to forty years. That's nice. And that's our project manager. I always give credit to James Hammond. He's one top guy. <laughs> yeah. James Hammond. Okay, I see. Man, uh, I wish I could see pictures of it or something of it. I, I want to see something. I, I, I can show you, I can send you pictures. You have to send me pictures because when I'm putting this video sure out, I want to, to put it on yeah, it. I can send you pictures. Yeah, right people after, have to have an idea how it looks yeah, like. Exactly. If I show you to you, you even think it's Do you paint something. it after you are done? It's up to you. No, it has to be painted. It's up to you. It's up because some people like, you know, people don't like too much colors in, in their homes. Okay. So, uh, okay, so uh, one picture I saw outside, that was in, in, in Sweden. They used the geopolymer concrete to, okay. uh, to build. The only part they painted was the inside. The outside was left like yeah. that. It yeah. doesn't cause any problem no, cracks. No, no. Not at all. Not at all. I see. Not at all. It's and it has a beautiful texture to it. I see. On the outside. Mm. Yes. Mm. So some people like who came up with this idea aesthetic. in ghana uh -huh. in ghana so we met the the evans people okay so i think that was like a year or two ago okay and then we were already in plans of of moving into in an space. eco green way okay and then listening to it and then seeing the feasibility of it it works perfectly yeah so we are not just looking at the geopolymer concrete we are looking at sawdust 
we are looking at hemp crates. Sawdust so to do what? That's for the pavement. For the pavement. Sawdust. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, like, that, it, it works fine. It works very, so very does. beautiful. Yes. It wouldn't catch fire. Not at all. You can you can Google that for yourself. Wait, let me see. Yeah. Just you can just it's all dust homes. Like hemp crates. Hemp hemp just that hemp crates. How do you spell that? H E M P. Like normal hemp. Okay. H E M crates like concrete. C R E T homes. Just that like hemp crates. Okay, let me see pictures. Is that it? Yes. Yeah. Hemp. 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 Yes. P C R E T E. That, that, so that's the, those are the blocks. Wait. So these blocks are made out of what? Hemp. Gonna just say weed. Hemp is weed. Yes. yes. So hemp crate. So, so they use the dried weed. No, the roots. The roots of the plants. plants. It's crushed. Bro, you don't think people get high in the house? No. <laughs> <laughs> Far from that. Yeah, Far from that. <laughs> and you saying to me this is durable? Yes. Very, very, durable. very durable. People are doing. Why can't we do it? Hemp crate. So people are using to build offices. You see the moment you typed. Right. Given you a lot of uh, pictures. Uh, yes. I'm surprised. Yeah. I mean, the world is changing, eh? It has changed. We are late. It has we changed. are like 200 years. Yeah, because yeah. I, if you look at even some of the technologies Morocco and right. other countries are right. using, you see that Ghana, we brag a lot, but we are nowhere. I saw one using, uh, I think, some plastic waste to build a whole house. Yes, yeah. that's no. Okay, so Nelson is actually the house he lives in at the moment in Tama. That's Nelson, uh, Nail Plast. The one right. Of the, it's made with plastics. And he had, he had actually had people um, from UN, EU, just to visit him, just to look at how beautiful the house. And it, it, he's doing amazingly well. And then one one thing I should chip him. You see these hemp crates blocks. Right. It's very durable if it's used to build these homes you see by the beaches. Okay. Instead of going for container, Instead that is going to rust. Using the, the aluminum right. and the metals which will rust, the hemp crates is fine because that one also... It's fire resistant and then it's insulated. So it's very fine for the weather and every single thing. Around. It's good for the salt. You, yeah. Very very good. You don't even need AC if you if you if you use this, you don't need AC. Because the wind is, is very, very insulable. Very, very, very So how come Ghanaians are not used to all these new technologies? Uh, because one thing is all we know is blocks, gas, gas uh, <laughs> cement, sand, yeah. iron rods, yeah. Yeah. gravels. Yeah. Well, I would say that is because that is how we've, we've lived, lived, lived our lives for years. That's how we've lived for years. All right. So how many years have you guys been working on this? Two. Two years. Two years, two years plus. Two years plus. And in that two years, not even one house is built already? That's what I'm saying. It takes so time. It took time for us to get funding for our prototype. Yeah, type, yes. Because you, know what? You, have to, you have to talk to people, do the research, let them come and see what you are doing Ooh. before they invest. Understand, and you know. So now you have investors. We, yes, we, have, we are even we looking for more. We, want more. we are looking for more. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing an investor will ask is, "Show me the prototype." We will show so it to that's, you. That's that's why we are lucky we have an investor who is with us. Can you get closer to the mic? That's why we are lucky hmm. we have an investor who is with us that we are starting up with the prototype. Okay. So when the prototype is done, then we'll go the mask way. Okay. Where we open the prototype to people, you come see the people, and then we ask you to pay a token for a type of building that way. Okay. So and so we, we are, are we are, we are not going to let you see the production, but when when we are we are, we'll let you know the process as time goes on. We are going to be and sending you, you reports. Come you come on site. So we'll be sending you reports. This is what we, we gathered. This is what we we are we tend doing. Do you like it? Yes, no. Okay, then we, we go for an alternative. So let's say a regular uh, three bedroom all in suit. Mm -hmm. How long do, will it take you to put it up? If let's let's put the research and everything let's put the it. research aside. You've done with the research. Everything is fine. It, Get if, to work. If cash is flowing, mm. six months max. Six months max. Max, you are done. Yeah. Okay. And how is the payment structure like with you guys? You can make with how? a deposit of 40 to 60 percent. Okay. Then we use for the start of the building to let, let's say 50 to 60 percent completion. Okay. So per the percentage of the payments you give, that's the building's yeah, completion we can give to yes. you. So when you come after the 40 to 60 percent has been done by us, right? then we continue. From there. That's I when see. you pay 20, 20, 20. So if 60 percent, you're done with 60 percent payments, you pay 20 mm -hmm. and then 20 when the building is done. 
I see. What happens to the roofing? Do you use the same the materials? The roofing has to go the normal roofing. The yeah. normal yeah. roofing. But, yeah. with, but most of the time, people, the, one, the ones I know, most of the time, they go with the hidden roof. I don't know if you... Yeah, the yeah. hidden roof. Yes. Yeah. And the ceiling? What happens? The ceiling... Have, the people ceiling. go with POP. People the same POP. Our normal yeah. POP. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. It, Do you have anything for tiles? The Do, tiles. Mm. Hempcrete mm. can be used for tiles. It, it does a lot. It, it does a lot. The, the weak rate. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, you can call it that. Crate. You can call it that. Yeah, can yeah. be used for tiles. It does yeah. a lot. Then people won't get high. No. no. <laughs> but it, it doesn't get too high. And I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. So for us, the, the, the reason behind all this, for me personally, right. joining this whole team and everything is the the challenge. Okay. The challenge it in getting it, people it, to follow. Think. And then also is fire resistance, because if you're telling me my building can withstand the fire for six to eight hours, and then I don't really need to worry about fire service getting there late. Right. At least I can have some peace in me that okay, if everything in the building self gets burnt, mm. my building is still stable for me. I see. Yeah. I see. So it's all about sustainability. It's all about sustainability. But it doesn't take out the fact that we're also working with people in the traditional way. Oh, okay. Traditional yeah, construction, yeah. you do it. Yes. Yeah. No, you, you got it. To you, stay afloat. Yeah. You, do, you keep the, the market balanced. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. So, but it's the same name. Yeah, the same It doesn't name. change. The same company name. Yes, yeah. it doesn't change. So what we spoke about mm. is the future. Okay. And that's the, trend, the path we are taking right now. Oh, that okay. is the future. Okay. And then the traditional is what we do to stay afloat. Okay. Yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. But you guys are smart. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. So what we do to inculcate our future to mm. the present is that if let's say we're done building a two bedroom house right. and everything, we use the plastics to do your outside floor pavements and then your wall designing. So at least People start to see how it looks like, okay. how it feels like, okay. and then the way for plastics for wall pavements. Yeah, and all these technologies are out there. It's mm. out there. The, yeah. People are cashing out big on it. Mm. Funny enough, there are too much plastic waste. Yeah, funny enough in this all, country. All the funding that is coming into the system right now from investors and from mm. NGOs are green, uh, are green uh, yeah. initiatives. Yeah, you talk about farming. They're, they're talking about. Everything green, right? right. And I yeah. see a lot of those uh, investors, especially the angel investors, yes. go to Kenya. Mm -hmm. You They're know, doing it big in Kenya, in Tanzania. Yes. That's something. Ghana, we are the loudest, but you can't zero. Yeah. We are loud for the wrong reasons. Reasons. We always think we are. Top. We are loud for 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 jollof rice, hmm. for like some Afro, lousy dance. Afro beats we don't own. You see, the thing is, Ghana, right? It's 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 sad. Sometimes it's sad. I happened mm. to be at the protest even yesterday, and it's sad. It's, it's <laughs> I, don't, I don't I don't want to go into details. But let's talk story. about it. Let's talk about it. the Galamse thing. Let's talk yeah. about it. Mm. You have already started. Let's let's be <laughs> honest. Okay, so the rivers are being destroyed. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, ordinary Ghanaians are saying, "Hey, politicians, you have to do something about it. Mm -hmm. President, do something about it." Mm -hmm. The president's people are saying, "Listen, mining is what is sustaining the country right now." How? Oh, you haven't heard it. I've yeah. heard it, but I, I, the I, Minister of Lands and Natural Resources, mm -hmm. Jinapo, says yeah. the country's uh, uh, revenue, the chunk of it is coming from mining. Yeah. And so, if they shut it down, the country's resources is also shut down. We need accountability. So, to us. we have to let it flow. We need and the rivers are going. What do you think the people will have to do? Uh, one thing I believe is you can't really stop them from mining right but then there are safe ways you can mine it right yes. even if it is large scale small scale there's we've also had, to it. we've had anglo gold ashanti in right Canada for years even with more than 140 years, years. Yeah. before a lot of us was born yeah but they are then, still mining but then the fact is that anglo gold ashanti from the past till today have never had issues with Water, yes, water. Mm. So, what are they doing different? It is, but simple. they has come with a lot of investment. The it local people will tell you we don't have so that kind of investment. One thing I've realized about most Ghanaian companies is that uh -huh. we jump on trends, okay, without a solution. Okay, you are, you are doing mining. What is the out? This is the outcome. What can we do to bring things back to life? Exactly, solutions. Solutions. One solution. Do you have a solution to Galamse? 
one do you have a solution yeah, to I that? Have what to, is your solution my first solution mm. is teach the miners no the imagine right. if you were the guy in charge the guy in charge if you have been given the the, the, the power to regulate mining in mm -hmm. ghana mm -hmm. your first day or week in office what mm -hmm. are you going to do what would you do all foreign mining companies which is not african owned must first move out of the system that's the first thing what first thing did you just hear what I, he I said him. yeah do you know the kind of chaos you're about to cause yeah. and you mean you want you mean Asanku? Yeah. You mean Perseus? So those are the legal ones. Oh, which one are you talking about? Like the illegal ones. The, the illegal ones. The yes. ones mining on our water bodies. Okay. So it is very, it is, it is very evil to mine on our water exactly. bodies. Exactly. Even you at the, the river mine, banks. You need to mine away from it. 100 meters away. That is o the law. Over 100 meters. Mm. It has to be over. Because no, but the law says 100, 100 meters. So these things need to change. Okay. Because what are the parliamentarians doing? If they themselves believe that these water bodies being destroyed is bad, then legislation must go into it. Right. All the 100 meters is very close. Yeah. We can dig a tunnel 100 meters down, mm. right into the water body, mm. and it is still contaminating it. So, 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 what is your solution? What would be your solution if you were the guy in charge? You have to. You have to. You have to. Uh, the first thing you do because you went to the demonstration right yes. yeah. okay so what would you say to the president do do this and do that what, what we, have to, that? we have to put up new policies policies will stop the people mining yeah, right so, now. so you have to shut it down yeah. first you yeah. shut it down put new policies up and run it again because it's, it's not helping us we are in 2024 mm. and we are still using like what 1992 Mining we methods. Met farm machines. It's, 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 it's sad. We, yeah, we have to. Are you aware in, the, in in about five years from now, mm -hmm. water is going to be another crisis? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, it's that started. Yeah. Funny enough, we, uh, was it two, three days ago? Uh, someone sent a picture from Kufuria. Kufuria is just a few uh, minutes away. If it comes to Kufuria, what should it do? Come to Ebri. Kufuria is about four, then it's, it's three down. hours away. Yes, it, 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 it comes yeah. down. Then everyone is, is, is get, because even restaurants are going to use water to cook. Exactly. And it's, it's going to create a going lot of problems. Where are they water? going to get their water from? Do you have a method to clean the water bodies? Sandra research. We will so, do it. So the first thing is that uh, Ghana has been using, quote unquote, the alum style, mm. which when uh, Ghana water, even now with the contaminated water, okay. when it comes into their system, they mix their chemicals, wait for it to settle, and then they pump the water out. So for a space of, I can say for like six months, a lot of Ghanaians have been using chemicalized water because the chemical and has been used to settle, settle the filth in it. Whoa. Yes, a lot. Is, a that, lot. is that safe? Yes, the Western and Central Rich, it's not safe. It's not at safe at all. At all. Oh, no, so no, the best thing is that, no. I believe the best thing is that uh, our hand is already tied as a country. The best thing is for all these illegal and then the legal ones that are mining on the water bodies to be shut down. Mm. We get a safe season of about six months mm. for the contaminated water to settle or flow out. Flow out of the system. We should flush everything out. And then we go back into reforestation and then getting our lands back. Because when we start rebuilding trees... So what do you think should happen to the revenue? The government says that is our main source uh, of revenue. We, we, need to, we need to go hungry a bit. Mm. Sometimes you learn the hard way. If we want our children 10, 15, 20 years from now to be safe, those mining must stop, reforestation around, along those lines, and then we get rainfall back into the system. Because we have a rainy season that hasn't been raining at all mm. this year. Mm. Which means the trees that are being cut down in these forest reserves is having an impact on our climate. Right. For it's, I think for like eight months in the yeah. north, there was no rainfall. Yes. Yeah. And it, it, it's, it's sad because we, we live in Ghana and we, we feel Ghana is based on a cry in Kumasi. Yeah. But people are yeah. going through a lot up there. Yeah. You, like you see some pictures, someone is like, there's this small puddle of water and a, 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 a child as low as two years is just fetching just to survive. People when are drinking the same water the cows yes, are drinking when, from. When did we get here as a county? It's, it's very sad and disheartening when you look at things like that. And when you, when you, involve, when you have conversations with um, the investors and all that, like, they can't do anything because mm. even when they even bring it, they'll tell you, we have to talk to your government. Then government will say, okay, I'm taking this amount of percentage. 
before we can even implement a project, which is, you know, it's, it's sad. It's sad. <laughs> so we, we need more hands on deck. We need more hands on deck. That's the most important. When we do it together, we can, we, because once the leaders see that, okay, yes, these people are taking action, and the demonstration is, is very necessary, honestly. I think so. It's necessary. I, I support the, the idea of the yes. demonstration. But for me, what I think is that it doesn't stop at the demonstration. This demonstration is focused on releasing those who, who are arrested. arrested. Right. Yes. But then I believe the conversation should go beyond the demonstration. demonstration yes. We should we should be in a country where the youth of this country, just like we said, shouldn't be living like we only live in Accra and Kumasi. What are you doing aside sitting on on social media? In this Galamsi fight, what are you doing aside the demonstration? Okay. We should be in a country where about 100 to 200 youth will say, Okay, we are investing our own money and we are going to these quote unquote illegal mining sites. But it's dangerous, bro. Up. It is dangerous. Very dangerous. These guys that are armed. Why, that is why we need the protection of the police. If they are saying. And that is why people are also saying the police are also in the pockets of politicians. Uh, yeah. So even when you go there with the police, they go there to take money and leave the people mm. back mm. to work. Yeah, because even, even, I mean, you know, sometimes I meet some officers on the street. You know, they really want the, the right thing. Right. But because of the position they find themselves in at that point, they can't take certain actions. Right. You talk to them, like, nah, me, then they me here. Me say, me say, like, for instance, the military. Yes. Yeah. They cannot go to site if they have not been given they, a yes. command. Which is they why? don't work like that. It's your country. Yeah. You have so, to think. Yeah. They go there because somebody has commanded Assign them, them. Yes. go and protect these people. Mm -hmm. Yes. They're not, to, not to arrest them. And go and I protect these people. Because on only, on I, also remember, no I remember a budget went to parliament. Uh, for drones, right, the right, of Galamsey. right. In and the I first know, one I, or two years of Nanado's government, and I don't know if the, if if the drones have stopped working <laughs> or they're <laughs> back in the call because <laughs> I mean that's the only uh, way it would make sense right now. Because some people, they, as I'm saying, they want to do the right thing, but if he does it, he loses his job. How does he take off his family? We have we need a reset, honestly. What do you, what do you see for Ghana? As as young as you guys are, what do you see for Ghana in the next? 10 years. Do you think Ghana becomes a well-to-do country? Or if, if the mindset back. is right, if uh. the mindset is right, everything will fall in place. We need the right people and the right decisions to be made. If everything is on course, because it took um, this country, Rwanda, right. it took a number of years. 20 years. You understand? Why can't Ghana years. lose them? We are 65 and years. And one leader. We are 65 years, but we are behaving like we are, we are now coming. Paul Kagame came in in 2020. Yes. And by 20... Mm. 18. You don't even see, you can't even see sand. It came in, it, it came in, in 2000. By 2018, yeah, done a Rwanda lot. Has, it yes, has changed. You don't even see sand on the road. Everywhere is that. There's no trash. Like, and you see, because he had a good mindset, it has trans transferred to the, the people of the country. Right. They know that, okay, this guy is doing something good for us. Why don't we follow him and support him? So right. you think if maybe a foreign person comes into the country and says, I want to, um, Take over or something? Mm. You think they will allow you? No. The people themselves will even they did an, a, a, a referendum not long ago, about two months ago in Rwanda. Yes, and they voted because he had served two terms yeah. already. Yeah. They voted: should we retain Paul Kagame or should we let him go? It's not an option. Ninety-nine point one percent. Yes, it's not an option. Keep the guy there. They know yeah. what he has done for them. <laughs> because if someone like that is doing amazing things in his country, right? Why should there be an, a second option? What shows that the person who's even coming is going to make things worse? Can, mm. I, can I speak as a typical Ghanaian? As a typical Ghanaian? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. As a, as a typical Ghanaian who has gone to school, uh -huh. who has seen things happening in this country, uh -huh. even if Jesus Christ oh. was to be the president of this country, oh. it wouldn't change? These people we have as ministers and MPs <laughs> are not there for the change of the country. I'm sure he will they change all of there, them. He will change, there, change their roles. They, they are there for the change of their families. I see. So first, the 256 plus MPs, parliamentarians we have mm. must change. Mm. We should be in a country where a youth can move within a space of six months to a general election and then be an MP of his constituency. constituency. And then we should see him 
doing changes. Mm. People like I don't want to put names on it, right. but people like Jata Sam George. Right. We need if we had I like 20, the guy though. If we had twenty people like George in Parliament. But George, his people in, in his constituency are Ask accusing him, him yes. that he's not doing much. Yes, that is how. That is the Ghana politics. And he's also putting the blame on the government. Yes, that was one, one thing I realized in Ghana politics is that if you're not on our side, you're in Fawunkaw. Uh, I, I live at Oyarifa. Okay. And the Madina um, MP is always struggling because his party is not in power. Uh, what is it in Francis? Yes. Francis yes. And then there's Ramadan. Ramadan. They can do certain things because even if they put the petition out there, it's not we live it. we live in an area lakeside where am i right uh Adenta mp mm. has been unable to construct a road since he came in 2020 and then we have the parli uh, parliamentary candidates for the mpp constructing a road because it's not by Adenta. So. not not because now by net so but then ask yourself so they M want to make MP, him popular mp into me and lobby for road <laughs> pc on our ticket is doing the road well, <laughs> it, it, it's Ghana, but i believe uh, 10 to 20 years yeah. from now things have to change if things don't change a lot of us mm. would end up leaving this country and it's sad because when, if you when, all leave who, who stays when you say leave this country it makes me sad the reason is mm -hmm. some of the countries that young people are living to now is very disturbing yeah. you know, so you see do you know the popular thing flying in accra today is working in iraq yeah and if I, I saw it on the yeah. news in Iraq as a cleaner I'm talking about Iraq where this guy was uh, yeah. what do you call the former president Who? Saddam Hussein oh, yeah. yeah so you see yeah. um, that is where Ghanaians are going yeah. now as it, carpenters yeah, as yeah, yeah. drivers they, they, they can't bear it anymore so someone who leave his like office job just going to be a cleaner somewhere I was reading on the news and they were saying um the u.s is giving out a uh, visa like there is diversity visas out and I, I told the first thing that came to my mind was white man is giving you free visa there it's not it's not free that, something right. they something they back exactly when you say they say oh you know, share their mm. but exactly. if you've been in a certain space uh, uh, for an amount you of know time, there is you nothing know, like nothing free lunch free. Mm -hmm. all, yeah. all my free no, or but you condemned. <laughs> I understand, but people don't want because I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to be. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. But I'm happy you guys have taken a different route. Yeah. Oh, we are, yeah. we are, we are, to, we are You could to have be. easily settled for looking for a visa yeah. to some strange country somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to suffer. And then Once the, I have a home, a home. The, yeah. the, the, the thing is that this idea mm. it will work perfectly in a country like rwanda because the system is is ready for it's it. set up it's, for it's, ready, it's ready for, yeah. they're ready for you and you could have relocated to to, to rwanda but, there are a lot of ghanians who are doing well in rwanda yes yeah. people yeah. are even building nice and houses in, in rwanda yeah. to survive it, and we are in contact with a lot of them charlie yeah. you know so uh, we have to stay home and fix that we the have to we i have like to. that it's something home. i always preach on my youtube channel we have to, because in fact i'm doing an episode today which has to do with nigerians staying in their country to fix it no matter what no matter what nobody is coming to do it for you no one, no no we have to hold our hands once to once i was in south africa mm -hmm. and there was this zimbabwean guy mm -hmm. always complaining about south africa he's from zimbabwe who lives in south okay. africa yeah always com complaining about south africans treat me like this treat me like that and there's this and every day complain i asked the guy i said my brother mm -hmm. do you know how south africa fought for this freedom you are enjoying hmm. do you know how many south africans have died for this you are here and at the time i'm speaking to him robert mugabe was the president of south africa and he had been president for too many years mm -hmm. And I said, you have run away to, to live here mm -hmm. and now complain. How about going back to fight and change that yeah. thing in Zimbabwe? Mm -hmm. Because you are just a border away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, it starts from here. From that day, the guy didn't talk about it again. Yeah, because that's something we... It's, it starts from the mindset. If the mindset is right, and we can gather... Okay, Listen, if you have money and you live in Ghana, oh. you are a kino. You're this is the only place where... If you have a good car mm -hmm. and oh. you have a good house, people actually recognize you. So yeah. you see, Ghana, one, it's it's sad. It's sad to the extent that when you see this big man, right? Because of Okita Kaka said he doesn't feel the impact you are feeling. Exactly. So he doesn't care about what you are exactly. doing down there. Exactly. You understand? But exactly. If 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 you train me to become like you, and I also train the person after me, they to want be you like, to be dependent on them. 
always asking for crumbs. But right now, the headache is that if if you used to build a three bedroom house mm. and suit every single thing inside, about 10, 15 years ago, probably be spending around 150,000. Right. Days. But today, the, the money has tripled, quadrupled. Yes. Everything is changed. A single five bedroom house in five bedroom house, simple five bedroom house in Lakeside, costing around three point five million cities. Which Ghanaian youth <laughs> is going to bring? How? And Where some of them they call it affordable, affordable homes. <laughs> and and I think it's more than a billion Ghana cities. They're not even pricing it in, in cities. It's yeah, yeah. If you mean they change them <laughs> to cities, so even. Yeah. My mentor, do we? The first thing that I'll be the phone calculator because he wants to know how much he's exactly. spending for uh, and a, bag, a bag of cement is around 100 cities. Yeah, so. yes, yeah. So imagine you have to build even a single room, so of course, you need a lot of cash. You need about about more than 10 bags of cement hmm. so you need for a single room. It's like I only have just 10 bags of cement, uh, you need about 1,000 cities just for cement. Workmanship is not added, it's not added. Sand, water. water. Oh, then we But say we see That's the question. <laughs> but you guys are doing well. I'm happy you guys have taken this route mm -hmm. of not leaving, staying here, mm -hmm. developing this business, doing the mm -hmm. research. Mm -hmm. Eventually, people will get to know it, yes. yeah. and people will resort to you. People, you know, yeah, that's how we want you to come in, put up these structures. I imagine if I were you, if I was part of your business yeah. uh, development. If I were part of your business development, and you, you can join. It's not this is what I'll tell you today. Yeah, I'll tell you. Listen, look for funds, mm -hmm. raise funds, whichever investor. Mm -hmm. Buy yourself one acre of land. Listen carefully. Mm -hmm. Buy yourself one acre of land. Mm -hmm. Anywhere, whether in Accra, I know in Accra is too expensive to buy a land now. Mm -hmm. Go on the outskirts of Accra. Mm -hmm. Buy one acre of land. Mm -hmm. Put up your structures. Mm -hmm. At least five units mm -hmm. whatever sizes they may be put up five units five of them and do the marketing from there make it a community where you are selling the estate houses mm -hmm. sell them mm -hmm. that is how you you be successful at this mm -hmm. because when people move in and the prices are low mm -hmm. and friends come to visit mm -hmm. they will have confidence that oh it is livable it is good okay but this guy lives there. Oh, this other friend lives there. You know. So if I were you, instead of depending or waiting for a client to call me, I'll be calling client and say, I have a house for sale made from this. Mm -hmm. It is as cheap as this price in this location. How, what do you think? They will be curious. We want to come and see it. God bless you. And they'll be trooping in, trooping in, seeing it. You are hitting the wall, showing it to them how beautiful the thing is. Eventually, one person will move in. When one moves in, that's all. That's it. Everyone will yeah. come. Yeah. That person is your, your bait. Yeah, thank you very much. <clears throat> Every thank day you, you are much. throwing videos on him. <laughs> thank you very I'm much. I'm telling you. So look for one acre of land somewhere. Let me give you an idea of where you can get. Tema. Go, no, Tema is too far. Oh, no, Tema. Tema is the best. Pram, where is Tema? Pram, 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 but that is not Tema. No, no pram, so, pram okay, is Pram, Pram. pram. Yeah, so we can, we can use Tema. We Dwayne. can use Dwayne. Yes. Dorwenya. Otherwise, there's a little bit of chado. There's a few. Dorwenya. Or go to in Sawam, behind in Sawam area. Yeah. Okay. Behind Pokwasi mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. Those places. Because the people are moving there. Yeah. Go and put up that kind of estate and put a gate and say, this community is made from this. Let the one family move. Can in. I shake you on set? <laughs> This, this is amazing yeah, yeah, listen I, you yeah. guys will have to just and it's cheap to get an acre yeah if it's on the outskirts okay, yeah, it's yeah, cheaper yeah. yeah because in Accra you even have projects like 300,000 uh, cities don't don't talk about that 300,000 cities can get you an acre on the outskirts mm -hmm. you can a whole acre mm -hmm. instead of doing four houses do six or five mm -hmm. let people move in two story or one story whatever whatever design you can get yeah. I'm telling this will work We'll do that this will work mm -hmm. it is your homes yes in fact you can even choose to live there the yes. staff mm -hmm. you live in one of them to market, to market, it. Yes. To market it yeah that was even our plan to even set up an office space that's the with the prototype yes, yes. the idea is that to the set prototype up should be on the office. okay good so when you come 
to visit our office. You ask us where is the, the sample? You are in it. You don't, and you don't even you realize enjoying, it. You are enjoying the amenities. Right. Yeah, so There's a lot of ways to go about these things. Yeah. And I, I really wish your business is successful. Thank you very much. Thank you. It means a lot to us. <laughs> but we just want to put word out there okay. to every contractor, every mm. construction firm, every single company out there. Not just people who build traditional buildings. Okay. Those into aluminium, every single company in and outside of this country. Our doors are open. So we are Masim Eco Green Homes. M A A. S I M Echo Green Homes. Echo Green Homes. Echo Green Homes. So anything you need, uh, whether you already have a building, you want us to do MEP, MEP is uh, mechanical, mechanical, electronic, electronic and plumbing. plumbing. We have teams available for that. We have teams for civil engineering. We have also teams for conversation. Okay. Come sit with us. Let's talk. Your building. Let's complete it for you. We'll give you a quota of the share. We move. It's Ghana. 10% no this poor work. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. All right. So, uh, any final words from you? Okay. So, um, I want to thank everyone, mm. especially you, Mr. Cyrus Anand. I want to thank everyone who, who has been on the journey with us. Okay. Especially my mom, my, my biggest support. Like your mom is your biggest support. And my mm. dad, actually. Like, they, they've been there since day one. Ish, they've Charlie. been there since day one. And... Thanks to uh, Mr. Nathaniel DC, that is Bolari. All right. We, are, we happen to be on um, his entrepreneurship with Bolari. Yeah. Oh, I know that guy. Yes. I've met him in his office. Yes. So You know, I, I went to meet him with a proposal. Oh, okay. I sat across his desk. He, in my hands was a file, the proposal. Mm -hmm. And he asked me to explain it to him. I, did, I hadn't even given him the, 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 the project, mm -hmm. what, what it was, was about. about. Mm -hmm. But I didn't. And I, 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 I came out without saying a word. Wow. You should go back. No, like he's he's a he's a very positive guy. He I don't know if you understand what I mean. I understand. I went to meet the guy in his office. Mm -hmm. I think asylum down. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I sat there. He was here. He was grac gracious mm -hmm. to meet me, and I I was happy to meet him. And he wanted to know what I carried. And you were stuck. Not not. I wasn't stuck. I chose not to tell him. Yeah. For, for my own, own personal, personal reasons. reasons. Okay. okay. I don't know if you recognize my face now, today, if he sees this video. He, but he, I've met him one on one, just me and him. He, he, has, been, he has been supportive. Right. He has been very, very because, I mean, with the advice, mm. conversations, and everything. This, get, was, this was a cohort we joined last year, in the okay. beginning of this year. It was with European Union. Yeah, so we're part of the court. I think twenty different companies. I see. Yes. Yeah. So he has, he has been and uh, Mr. Alex Brown. They've been very very supportive. I see. Yes. He's on the Star FM drive. Star FM. Yeah, okay. Mr. Alex Brown. I see. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for making time to pass through the studio. Thank you very much. Thank uh you. be kind to subscribe and click on the notification bell whenever you watch this video. Oh, we are not sure. And then share. Yes. Thank you, you so much, guys. Thank Wish you all the best.